Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're here to share the word of God with you today. The word of the living God. In the Bible, in Romans chapter 3, verse 24, it says, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation by His blood through faith. It says, being justified freely by His grace. That salvation is a free gift. That if I give you £5,000 on your birthday, and you take that gift, it's a gift. God gives you a gift today. That gift is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God's gift to you. It's the best gift in the world. It's the most amazing gift in the world. It's the best gift. It's a glorious gift. It's a wonderful gift. And it's free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to do anything for it. All you've got to do is receive it. Receive that gift of His love. Being justified freely by His grace. That is the only way to be right with God. The only way to be justified before God is the grace of God. There's an old hymn. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, to save a wretch like me. Amazing grace, amazing, amazing that it can rescue you, amazing that it can save you, amazing that it can wash you, amazing that Christ died on that cross and shed his blood for you on that cross. It's amazing grace, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation uh, by His blood through faith. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, He died for you, sir. He died on that cross and laid His life down on the cross as a sacrifice for you. He was sacrificed on that cross. Are you alright, bro? He was sacrificed on that cross for you. He shed His blood. The redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth to be a propitiation by His blood through faith, that Christ died on a cross for you, to set you free today, to give you joy and the hope He loved you and died for you, Jesus Christ. He loved you and died for you. And the only way to be set free, the only way to be set free is by knowing that Christ shed His blood, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth to be a propitiation by His blood through faith. That the only way to heaven, the only way to know God is to know that He died on a cross for you. To know that He loved you. To know that He died for you on that cross. To know that He shed His blood on that cross. To know that He gave His life for you on that cross. That is the only way to heaven. The only way to heaven is that cross where He died on that cross. That is the only way. Not by religion. Not by men's ideologies. Not by men's ideas. The only way is that cross. But God demonstrates His own love towards us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by His blood. We shall be saved through, we shall be saved from the wrath through Him. But God demonstrates His own love to us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Though you and I didn't deserve it, Though you didn't deserve it, and I didn't deserve it, the Messiah came and died for you. When they took him in the courtyard and whipped him, when they mocked him and humiliated him in the courtyard, and there there were hundreds of people. Yeah. Do you know the end of Matthew, at uh, the end of the book of Matthew? I'm not religious, I'm just not It says, it says this, no, 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 that's on about the Pharisees who are showing off their self-righteousness. But it says, 
No, but he says, he actually says, go, Jesus actually said, go and preach the gospel in all the world. That's about self-righteous people. That's about the Pharisees who were always self-righteous, always judging people. It's that's when you that's when you display it and you're judging people. That's what it's all about. Not preaching, not preaching. Okay, God bless you. Have a lovely day. Thank you for that, man. But God demonstrates his own love to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. That God demonstrates his own love to us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Though we didn't deserve it, Jesus Christ came and died on that cross for you and me. I didn't deserve it, you didn't deserve it, but he died on that cross to save you. Are you a Muslim? No, are you a Christian? Yeah. You have a preaching about Jesus, he loves you. He gave his life for you. No, I know. Yeah. Keep close to Jesus, yeah? We're in the last days, bro. Keep close to him, yeah? Keep close to Jesus. God bless you. But God demonstrates his own love to us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. When Christ died on that cross and shed his blood on that cross, he was dying on that cross for you. When they grabbed him in the courtyard, and they laughed at him, and they mocked him, and they whipped him, they whipped his back, they put a crown of thorns on his head, and then they put a cloak around him, and they laughed and they mocked him. But Jesus Christ in that courtyard had one thing in mind, and that he was going to go to the cross for you. And so they whipped him and mocked him, but he still went to the cross for you. And there when he hung on that cross, he hung on that cross as your saviour. He hung on that cross as your saviour. Where he died for you and shed his blood for you on that cross. Have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Yep. Have you ever done anything wrong? Yep. Jesus loved you and took your punishment upon himself. And he died on that cross to save you from what? What did he save you from? From hell. There is a hell, my friends. Hitler will know when he gets there, there is a hell. There is a hell. There is a hell where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where the wicked will be cast into hell. But God, God, God took your punishment. God took your judgment. God allowed the wrath to be poured upon his son for you. And when Christ died on that cross, he died for every wrong thing you did. Whether you lied, whether you stole, whether you slept around, whether you took drugs or got drunk, whatever it is you did wrong, Jesus Christ died for you. And he wants to rescue you tonight. He wants to deliver you tonight. Deliver you from your addiction. Deliver you from the problems in your life. He wants to give you a new life, a new hope, a new vision, a new power, a new joy. He wants to give it to you tonight. But if I give you £5,000 in an envelope, what would you do? If I had five grand and I put it in an envelope and I gave it you, what would you do? Would you open it? Spend it on the Lamborghini, good bro. You'd open it, wouldn't you? You would open the five grand and take the five grand out of the, out of the, out of the envelope, wouldn't you? 
Well, God has given you more than £5,000. He's given you more than £10,000. He's given you more than £50,000. He's given himself. He gave himself for you. He gave himself for you, my friend. He gave himself for you. Jesus gave himself for you on that cross. He, he poured out his life for you on that cross and shed his blood on the cross. He poured out his love for you on that cross. And it didn't cost you a penny. But you've got to... You, thank you, man. Thank you for your love and kindness. He loved you and died for you on that cross. And shed his blood for you on that cross. God bless you, sir. He loved you and died for you on that cross. And if you want to know the joy of the Lord, if you want to know the forgiveness in your life, if you want to know how to get to heaven, it's by Jesus Christ, the Savior. Only by Him, only by Him, only He can deliver you and save you. Only He can pour peace into your life. Only He can break the power of addiction in your life. Only He can change you and make you anew. He's mighty to save. He's mighty to deliver you. He's mighty to bring life into your life. But you gotta let Him in your life. You gotta open your heart. Open your heart to Him. 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 Don't close it with drugs. Don't close it by fiddling the electric bill and gas bill and think you can make it on your own way. Open your heart. Allow Him in. And it'll be like opening the curtains on a sunny day. You wake up in the morning and it's a sunny day and you open the curtains and the sun comes in. Knowing Jesus is like that. When you know Jesus, the sun comes in. The joy comes in. The love comes in. The joy comes in. The peace comes in. The hope comes in. Jesus loves you, man. God bless you. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Jesus loves you today and gave his life to you. What, man? You don't mention about the flat foot on fire in Muddy Muddy. You don't what? mention about people what? who's died in Manchester. I, or the bombing. I... It's all about what? you. Okay, have you heard this? I you've, not, you, you've not mentioned Hills, mate. You've mentioned fuck all. You're talking Boris. I'm Barry. You're talking Boris. You're talking Boris. You're talking Boris. You're talking Boris. And I'm preaching here Barrett. today, sir. I'm kicking you off that fucking line. I'm preaching in Rochdale and Barry. And I'm preaching here, sir. Fuck off, you prick. And you know what I've been preaching? Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Boris, you're preaching. So which is best? 20,000 ISIS on the streets or a street preacher? Fuck off, you dickhead. No, a street preacher is doing no harm. They're not taking the terrorist off the street. But yet you're moaning about a street preacher on a stepladder. That's a bit warped. You need to have free speech. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. Everybody has a right to free speech. Even the Christians. Even the born again Christians. He loved you and died for you on that cross. And shed his blood for you. Now did you notice something? They spewed their hate. But I showed kindness to them. Why? Because that's the message of Jesus. He loved you and died for you. Guys, you're great people. You're great people. But, but, we need Jesus. Jesus said this, no greater love than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. There's the love. Jesus laid down his life for us on that cross. If we all live like that, there wouldn't be any trouble, but we don't live like Jesus. You know why? Because we're not following him. Jesus loved you and died for you, so follow him. Follow him in these days. He's the best way for you. He's the way forward today. He's the one that loved you and died for you. Have a lovely day. God bless you. I've got leaflets here. God bless. Have a lovely day. Thank you for listening. God bless you.